I am so excited because today we are back with another Etsy haul. I did one of these a while ago and it was so much fun. If you don't know what Etsy is, it's an online marketplace where anyone can open up a store. It's a really great place to find one of a kind, unique items, handmade items and vintage items. I used to be an Etsy seller myself so it's still close to my heart and I love supporting small businesses on there. It has become one of my go-to places to find cute fairy inspired clothing, jewelry, and just kind of like whimsical, magical things that I like. I love to give my Etsy wish list to my boyfriend's dad every year for Christmas, and he got me some really cute things off of there. And then I ended up buying some other stuff on my own as well. So this is a mixture of Christmas gifts and things I bought on my own. We got a lot of cute stuff today. I'm really excited. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here you mean the world to me. Let's go ahead and get started with the haul. Now it's been a while since I ordered some of this stuff because I've been waiting on one thing to come that I ordered from Lithuania and that was taking forever. Let's start with this package right here. This is something I ordered myself. I did open it and peek just to make sure it was the correct item. I can't wait to see. Ooh. Okay, this is a really cute fairy shirt. It's got like different little fairies on it. Okay, it's cute. I do like it. Not the softest t-shirt ever. I could have been a little more impressed with the quality of the actual shirt, but it is still really cute. I like all the different berries on it. I think it's a really cute design. I think you could get different colors in this. I got the black. Yeah, so this is the brand of the shirt they use and it looks like they just screen printed on it. I mean, it's fine. I think for the price, it's okay. I kind of wish it could have been like a little softer. It's that like heavy cotton t-shirt material which isn't my favorite. So this is from a shop called AOR Oh, Aora Apparel. I paid $32.76 for the shirt. I don't know, to me, this doesn't exactly look like the shirt in the picture. I'll pop up the shirt. It's a shop out of Vancouver, Canada, and they have all different designs. The pictures look really aesthetic and cute, which is what drew me in. Let's see, the model has it like really oversized and it looks cute. I got a medium because I think I wanted it to be a little oversized on me. Although I don't know if I see this being that big, but I think it's cute. I think I'll wear it just kind of like as a casual shirt. We'll have to try on and see. I am happy with it overall. I think it's cute for the price and I think the little fairies on it are really cute. Although some of them look a little scary. <laughs> kind of like Victorian fairies. All right. I believe this is a jewelry item I ordered. I think it's a pair of earrings. I ordered these so long ago, I haven't looked at them yet. Okay, let's see. Cute. This is just a tiny little pair of silver earrings that look like padlocks. I wanna start getting into wearing some silver jewelry again. I feel like gold has been having a moment for a really long time and I kinda miss silver. Okay, these are really cute. I'm trying to understand how to latch these. Okay, this one's not latching. Let me just show you really quick. Little earrings that look like padlocks and they're silver. I opened this one first and now I can't get it to latch again. See, it kind of like pulls open like that and then it should latch back into place, but this one's not staying. This one worked, it clicked, but this other one won't click. Okay, that's a little bit upsetting. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. Okay, that one clicks. This one does not click. All right, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to message the seller and tell them that my one earring is broken. Hopefully they'll help me out. That's disappointing because these are really cute and it looked really cute in the picture like the way they hugged the ear and I do really like them. Hopefully they will be nice enough to either replace these or give me a refund. I'll try to update with whatever happens and let you know. These were from a shop called 
pure BB and with shipping, I did pay $27.15 for the earrings, so they weren't super cheap either. Yeah, I'm gonna have to message the seller and see what I can do because I don't think I could wear those. They are cute though. Hey, just wanted to pop in and give an update on the earring situation. So I did message the seller and they were really kind and they did issue me a replacement right away on the earrings, which I thought was really nice. I just want to put the earrings on today, the replacement ones. Unfortunately, the one that they sent is also not latching. The one works and the one is still not latching. So I ended up taking the original pair. I took some pliers and I bent this little part of it back and so now it is clicking. I have been wearing this set, the original one that I fixed, and they are really cute and I do like them. I think I'm just gonna let it go at this point because I do have two working earrings now. It is kind of unfortunate that that's the way things worked out, but I think I'm just gonna kind of let it go at this point and just kind of like move on with my life. Probably won't purchase from that seller again, but the earrings are cute and I'm happy that they gave me the replacement. So that's what happened anyways. Let's get into some of the stuff that I got for Christmas. I'm really happy with these. I was gifted some iron-on patches that I had asked for, and these look so cute. These are from a shop called Wildflower Co., and it gives you little instructions on how to put the patch on, which is really nice. This is the first patch. It's like a little embroidered pink butterfly. How cute and pretty is this? I love this so much much this is so pretty just be cute like on the little chest of something like on a sweater or like overalls or something and then i also got this little heart mushroom how stinking adorable is this i love it it's just make me so happy and i will have to find something cute to put these on i just feel like these are me i love these see i didn't actually buy these let me find them the butterfly is six dollars for the patch and then the little mushrooms are five dollars which I think is a really good price. The shop is super cute. They have all kinds of really cute patches so definitely check them out. I will link below. I love a good patch you know. This next one was another gift I got for Christmas and there's a really cool story with this but let me show you first. This little ceramic little like fairy girl reading a book and this is meant to kind of like set on a plant I think is how they have it pictured. Isn't that so cute and unique? <laughs> I can't believe he actually ordered this for me. It was just like something random I had liked so long ago. It has a little sticker on the bottom, Handmade on the Isle of Wight by Sally and Steve Moss. This came all the way from there in the mail. Funny story, when this arrived, the box was like waterlogged, completely beat up, just like destroyed basically. They were like, oh my God, it's definitely ruined and broken. And when they opened it up, this little fairy girl was fine. It was funny because James's dad <laughs> told me that the fairy magic kept it alive on the way here. I thought that was really cute. You can kind of tell on the business card here how it's like completely completely waterlogged and crinkled. Like that's how beat up the box was. So this is a very special and magical little lady and I'm gonna have to find a good spot for her. I'm thinking bookshelf would be cute cause she's like reading the little book. These are actually really fairly priced too, I think. She has all different ones and they're about like $20 a piece. And it looks like they also make really cute little fairy houses out of ceramic too. I think $20 is a really fair price. Oh my God, these little mushrooms are so cute too. So definitely check out this shop if you're interested. Sally Moss and it says she's a star seller so love that. Okay, this was the last Etsy thing that he got me for Christmas. Came in a really cute little box with a crystal stamp on the inside. It is just this really pretty rose quartz rose. How fitting to make a rose out of rose quartz right? How pretty is this? This is so unique and beautiful beautiful. I love rose quartz, one of my favorite crystals, like the crystal of love, and it's pink, which I love pink. It's just really pretty, and it's really, like, comforting to just kind of hold in the palm of your hand. It just feels really good to kind of just let it sit in your palm, 
I just realized as I was holding it. They sent all kinds of cute little cards with it. This one says, thank you. Loving thyself rocks is the brand. I always like when Etsy sellers do cute little stuff like this and send like little extras. So they sent this little card about rose quartz too. Heart chakra, stone of unconditional love, helps one overcome abuse of all kinds, promotes forgiveness, increases self-love and overall happiness with an affirmation, I am loved unconditionally. That's really sweet. Oh my gosh, I literally feel like I'm gonna cry. This is so sweet. Our little business card here. And this is so crazy because this is something that I've always believed in and done myself that has helped me so much. It says they're more than just a crystal shop. They also embody self-love and loving yourself unconditionally. When was the last time you said, I love myself? Many physical and health problems stem from self-hatred, self-abandonment, and self-betrayal. Even if you feel as if you do love yourself, it is always important to say it out loud. We challenge you to start loving yourself by taking our 30-day self-love challenge because loving thyself rocks. Begin each morning by looking yourself in the eyes through a mirror and verbally say, I love you out loud. Repeat 10 times each morning for 30 days and watch your mind and body begin to feel unconditionally loved. Why am I crying? That is just so amazing because that is something, I think I talked about this in my like journey of my self-love video, how doing that practice helped me so much when I was learning to love myself again. And I really believe in this 100%. And I think this is so amazing that this brand is including this in all of their packages. Sent this little smile, it's contagious card that you can pass along. That is so sweet. What an amazing Etsy seller. Thank you so much. Those are the packages from Etsy that are really special. When you find a seller that includes something like that, these damn sleeves won't stop falling down, that, that includes something like that and you know that you're supporting a really good cause in a small business. Okay, that might be my favorite package so far. That was really sweet. We have another clothing item. I'm excited about this one because it's a crew neck sweatshirt and it has a fairy on it. Two of my favorite things. Pretty simple packaging rolled up in the mailer. Ooh, looks cute. Ooh, this is really pretty. I like this. Black crew neck with this really pretty fairy and flower print on it. This is so pretty. I can see myself wearing this all the time. I got this in the medium as well. Ooh, this actually feels so soft on the inside. This is nice. Funnily enough, this is the same brand as the t-shirt. Did I get these from the same shop? I don't know, I'm gonna have to look. Maybe I did. No. This is from a different shop. This is from a shop called Fruit Bat and LaRue. It looks like I paid $42.60 for this. This is really nice. I like this. The picture they have looks really cute. They have all different kinds of like screen printed stuff. Looks like they have something for everyone. It's not all just like fairy related. And that's a good business idea, screen printed stuff. Slap anything on a t-shirt and people will buy it, right? I'm really happy with this. I I will try on and see what it looks like. Really like it, thank you. I was just thinking about the moon flowers that grow in the park by my house and I wanted to smell a moon flower so badly, but it's winter so there's no flowers. So I was looking for just like a perfume or a scent that just smelled like moon flower. And literally this was the only one I could find on the internet, which was of course on Etsy. And it's from this little shop called Spectrum Cosmetics. Little tube of a moonflower scented perfume. What I love about Etsy, you can just find the most random obscure stuff on there. This is what it looks like. Pretty simple. And it does actually smell a lot like a moonflower. It kind of smells like if a moonflower was a perfume, which is what this is, but it's not exact, but it does smell good. So I do like it. I'm gonna put a little bit on. It's pretty good. I was happy when I found this and I feel like this will last forever. Cute little thing. It ended up being $17.57 with shipping, so not super cheap, but I feel like this will last a really long time. I honestly barely ever wear scents. I'm kind of weird. I don't really love to smell like stuff all the time, but every now and again I do, so. 
Mm, it does smell good. Moonflowers are really interesting smell. If you ever see a moonflower out in the wild, make sure you sniff it for me, okay? Okay, I'm so excited about this last one. This is the package that we've been waiting on the longest, shipped all the way from Lithuania. I've talked about this a little bit in a few of my other videos, how I wanted to put a new print above my sewing machines. They're on this wall over here that you can't see right now. It finally came. I have not opened this yet. It looked so long to find this. I wanted the perfect print and I found this print I wanted by um, Matisse and I like a lot of his artwork. So the artist was Henry Matisse. He was a French artist born in 1869 and died in 1954. Probably seen his artwork before. He has a lot of really like famous paintings. Shop you can get all different prints but I really wanted to find the one that like didn't say the name of the artist on it. It just had the print. <gasps> Ugh. Came it wrapped up really nice in this plastic. Good old plastic, you know? How in God's name am I gonna get this out? I really hope this is nice because I ended up having to spend like $50 to find a frame for it on Amazon. Turns out poster frames are actually pretty expensive. This is literally not coming out. <laughs> I need to look on a map and see where Lithuania is because I don't even know. It seems like it's really far away. There we go. Ooh. Oh my god, this looks really nice. She's rolled tight. Okay, it doesn't want to unroll. I'll put a picture of it in here, what it's supposed to look like, and I'll try to insert a clip of once it's up on my wall in the frame. I love it! I'm obsessed with this! Really, really pretty. I love the color. I love the design. I love everything about this. This turned out so nice. I think this is gonna look so good. Up on my wall. Sorry it was kind of like hard to show you. I have to say the quality of the print Feels really, really nice. Got like a nice matte texture to it. Really thick, good quality paper. I'm really, really happy with this. It wasn't super cheap. Let me see. So the shop is called Prints Every Day. They have all different prints, all different artists. And I did pay a lot. I, it was $54.67 for that print. I do think it was worth it because it is really, really nice. And it's something that I plan on keeping for a really long time. So I guess all together with the frame, it is like over $100, but I don't think that's really that bad for like a giant art print on your wall, you know? Yeah, really nice. Looks just like the picture. I would definitely recommend this shop. It took a while to come in, but if you're willing to wait. All right, that is gonna do it for this Etsy haul. I had a lot of fun opening these things. Overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. A little sad about the earring, but hopefully we can get that fixed up. I really like everything I got. That was really fun. Definitely check out Etsy if you're looking for something unique. I really enjoy shopping on there. Make sure you're subscribed before you leave. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate you. And until next week, please remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical, and I love you so much.